Welcome back to Darkwood. It's time to head up back to the barn ruins and finish exploring the place. I've done the usual stuff. Sold some things, bought some things, repaired all the windows and doors, and crafted some stuff. I was able to craft a lantern, by the way. So that's really nice. Got two extra magazines for the pistol, two extra shots for the shotgun. Full thing of molotovs and pills. Oh, one thing I forgot. Before I run there, to save time, I should probably eat bread. Yeah, I'll eat a piece of bread before I leave, so that makes me uh, use less stamina. Okay, I'll meet you when I get there, or when I encounter an enemy or something goes wrong. Oh. On my way over here, I found a crate that I've never found before. <laughs> I just exchanged a lockpick for a single rag. Thanks. Anyway, I think I'm almost there. Have I ever been here? I think I have. No wood. Searched. Searched. Oh, I'm right here. Okay. Yep, yeah, so we should be there in just a sec. Here it is. Alright. Let's just preemptively put the lantern on. Okay, so before we go up, let's finish exploring down here. So I explored that, that, that. God, it's so loud and disturbing sounding. Yeah, so I did not explore out here. Sorry, doggy. Human remains, they also look stuffed. Hey, there's the wolf. So you've been stuffing humans, huh? That's not concerning at all. There's a trophy. A trophy with a human head. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like the reverse, huh? People have trophies of animals, animals trophies hum of humans? Hmm. Key to Wolf's Hideout. Oh. You won't mind if I take these. You just stay there. Where does that lead? I guess we'll go there later. Well, if that person is here that they took, they're probably in this room. Um... I see a lot of blood. Oh my god, what the f fuck? Half-eaten body of a deformed woman. Shit.
I guess I'm too late. <clears throat> well, it's gonna be an interesting conversation. I'm just gonna switch to my shotgun for no particular reason. Comrade! The greeting sounds like an angry growl. The wolf makes a quick leap, and bouncing against me with his swollen belly, he puts his paws on my shoulders. He ostentiously licks his face. What a gift have you given me! I notice fresh bloodstains on his fur and feel streaks of his saliva dripping onto my coat. He leans towards me as if he wanted to say something to my ear. Listen or push them away. Uh, push them away. The wolf takes two steps back. I can only see a row of filthy sharp teeth underneath his hood. Well, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He is apparently addressing the stuffed human corpses sitting by the walls. This carcass thinks he's better than you. This rotten pile of meat must be delusional. The wolf turns towards me, adjusting his coat. Are you pretending to be human, or are you just cracking jokes? I guess referring to the fact that uh, I guess I'm not a human anymore, am I? I will help you recover your stupid key. I will take you back to the doctor's house. I'm sure you'll find some clues on how to reach his current hideout while there. You two will have a little chat. You'll get back what you've lost, and then nothing will keep you from getting the fuck out of my part of the woods. Do you get me, meat? You'll pack your bags, dive into that stinking hole of yours, and dis a fucking pier. And? Are we going, comrade? Hmm. Well, I guess I better get them to take me to the place before I kill them, right? Sure. I wonder what would happen if you killed them before talking with them. How would you get to the doctor's place? Can't do that now. No map. Time is not passing. This looks familiar. These swampy puddles of water around where I was injured. like half the house has disappeared. No, more than half the house. Is that the dog that I put out of its misery at the very beginning of the game? for the bathroom. Hmm. It's a wooden door, though. Odd stone and an axe. What is this odd stone? Hmm. Well, let's switch from the shovel to the axe. I'm sure it's better. So, I wonder if that's just a random person or somebody we saw near the beginning. I mean, who did we see in the beginning? There was the doctor who we played as. There's this person here who we also played as. And then there's also the third person that came from the village to see the doctor, right? The one with the, uh, the chicken lady's little brother with the toy, the chicken toy. I only remember me having an axe or some sort of weapon that I used to break a door. A 
Okay, um, let's, let's test this weapon. So how fast does it s take to swing? About the same as the shovel overhead kind of thing. What about the middle mouse button? Okay, so overhead is the big swing. Takes less stamina. Middle mouse button is like a quick cut across. Uses a lot of stamina, just like the shovel. Like almost all your stamina, actually. Three bars. Bear trap. Hmm. It's not gonna stop me. I hear wheezing. Oh, are these test subjects? Plain countryside bed. The metal buckles of the leather straps fastened to the bottom of the bed are twisted and broken. Oh, I can move the beds? I can, I just moved this bed very, very slightly. Where's the doctor? Daddy went out and left. Daddy? Angry. Hungry he was. I'm hungry too. Can't move. Head is exploding. And if I move, I'll burst myself. Who is that? I wonder if I could, like, throw them some food to eat. I doubt this is going to work, but... Nope. They said they were hungry, though. Oh. Partially decomposed corpse. The left hand has been bitten off together with the arm. Let's sleeve that off for now. Doesn't have much gas. Leg, leg, ice, ear, meat, finger. <laughs> That's the meat locker. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave all that. No thanks. Even though just the meat feels like it's been tainted. Wait, did I miss the door? The door's on the right side. Oh, this, this, this is the main building. This is the one that I saw when I started the game. Yeah, um, how do I get over there? Wait a minute. I just went through the majority of the game not knowing that you could just vault through windows if they weren't barricaded. Huh. 
I'm reevaluating my entire life suddenly. Does that change anything? Like, could I have gotten into the wedding in the creepy house in any other locked place? I doubt it. They wouldn't make it that easy. Usually for buildings that you find, they barricade it. And then if you try and take the barricade apart, it says it's too strong to dismantle. Although you could probably break it with an axe, right? Hmm. Anyway. Another odd stone. There used to be a radio here. So like this, I can also go through? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, this is another anomalous place where things move through time depending on whether you're casting a light on them or not. Look at this, it changes. Blood covered, scrambled. More neat. Oh. Safe locked with a code. Alcohol, bottles, pills, gasoline. I know I don't need rope. I'll toss that. I don't think I can make Molotovs in my inventory. No. Need a workbench for that. Was that there before? That big white thing? Releasing spores? I swear that wasn't there before I came in. Maybe it's just the light. Dot dot dot. Photo. Um, looks like a photo in the forest. So really, it's hard to see anything in it. Looks like there's a person there. There's also, I guess that's a date up there? 1206.85. Could be a passcode, potentially. Part of the date could be a passcode. Oh, the examine is just the dot dot dot. Where's the alcohol distillery? There's the dog. Can't forget, you can search the shoes. Huge empty cages. Let me try some of the things in the photo on the safe. Well, I tried various combinations of that date, and none of them seemed to work. Oh, also I noticed there was a new journal entry. Return to the doctor's house. The wolf told me he could take me to the doctor's house, which seems to be the place where that fucker kept me and stole my key. Supposedly, I'll find a clue there on how to get to his current hideout. Maybe I'll learn what precisely went down that night. To this day, I have no idea how I managed to escape. I know him. You do? Who are they? What, what if it's me? I remember this is the room the doctor said that they had spent so much time trying to capture the person in here. 
Talked about how much work it was. I really, really want to know what the hell's in here. Searched everything, huh? I don't need rope. Or wood. Yeah, wherever time seems to be messed up, where light and dark show you a different time, it seems like these spore things are around. What would be the passcode to the safe, if not that date on the photo? Hmm. It says I'll find a clue at the doctor's house to where to find them. Is that photo the clue? Is that... Does that somehow show me where I could maybe find them? I don't see how that'd help. I, I mean, it looks like a fallen down tree, like a curved tree. I don't know. Trees block the way ahead. Oh, I really don't like this part. I guess I can't go this way anyway, but still. Ugh. I'm just thinking of the, that person, or actually, didn't multiple people talk about dreaming of, like, seeing their mother stuck between trees, unable to squeeze through? <sighs> Doesn't seem like it. Huh. My house also burst in half. Everything here just bursts. So I realized something I didn't do is really, like, explore the house while turning on the generator. Also, I think there might be numbers written on the ground. This looks like a nine, doesn't it? Nine? Let's see if there's any other numbers written in either the light or the shadow. Let's see. The nine, yeah, nine completely disappears when I shine the light at it. Oh, yeah. Those are definitely numbers, aren't they? There's, there's an eight. Oh. There's a four. Oh, it's like each... I need to follow the lines. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. I wonder if it somehow tells me the order. So, well, we need four digits. Let's see. So, I see three digits so far. All right, one over there, the nine down there when I don't shine my light at it, and then the four. Looks like there might be another one behind here, and there is. Haha! -ha. That is so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. It almost looks like there could be another one in this room over here. But there shouldn't be, because there's only four digits, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's anything. Um, let's see. So, if we follow, like, the line of the bounce, the, like, the bouncing line. Nine, five, four, eight. 
9548. So that's not the order? Maybe opposite? 8459? There we go. I think we'll find some answers here. Toy. Doctor's note with a code. I hope that's not a code to the church. Ugh. The map shows the location of some train. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna need to dump some stuff. Rotten mushrooms are useless. Meat, meh. New journal entry, doctor's house. The code to the cart door, 5584. Okay, so we have a bit of a treasure hunt, huh? Yeah, the train wreck, which we already found. I don't remember a locked door, but I guess there was one. Can't look at the map here. Let's take a look at our journal. I've explored the doctor's house. It's a complete ruin. Now I know that what seemed like nightly terrors is very real. I still don't know how I escaped this place. I suspect someone must have carried me out. I found some code in the doctor's house. I don't know what it's for, but I hope it opens the door to this to his current hideout. Well, it makes me regret wasting the uh, gas can on this generator. That was kind of pointless. Oh well. I'm gonna leave now, okay? Actually, wait a minute. Would you like this toy? They don't care. Can I go through these windows? Maybe it's only broken windows. What? You... here? Kill me. Take my house. My cracked hut. I mean, it looks like they're just bleeding, and they said they're about to burst. Are you sure? Uh. Okay. Ugh. Dead madman. Rusty key. That was probably for the bathroom that I busted open. There's no way to be sure now, though. But they talked about their cracked hut, which must be this. I wonder if I repair the door if the lock will be back and then I could test the key. <laughs> There's really no point though. I'm still really curious what these strange stones are. Or odd stones, rather. Can I throw them at all or anything? No. I'm certainly not going to sell them. They're too curious. There's no reason to have that on. I wonder where I'm going to head back when I head back this way. Like, where am I going to pop out onto on the map? 
Back at the lair? They said they never want to see me again, though. The wolf. Where are we gonna go? Oh! So there was something here. Wait a sec. But I went here. Did I somehow go along these rocks and miss this? I guess it's it's very possible, I suppose, isn't it? I maybe I missed it. Huh. Well, we have a little unfinished business, do we not? And in fact, the train is fairly nearby, too. But first, let's go say hello. Oh. Are those fresh dogs? <laughs> Fresh dogs. <laughs> like, are there more dogs now? Do I have a lockpick? No. I might have to scream. Okay. It's shotgun time. Hey, wolf, are you here? You are. I wonder if they're going to try to attack me. They said they never wanted to see me again. You got anything to say? Yes, meat. Hmm. Okay, let's have a little chat before I kill them. Show them the electronic game. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Do you think this is funny? Are you mocking me? Do I look like a joke to you? Yes. <laughs> You're a brave piece of meat. And what's more important, one with a sense of humor. Where'd you find this? The wolf carefully studies the toy. Electronic game, huh? About a wolf stealing chicken eggs. <laughs> Good one. I have a soft spot for games. How about you? I can give you something in exchange, meat. What would you say to a surprise, huh? <laughs> sure. A wise decision. Take this. The wolf produces a gun from his pocket, throws it under my feet, and then turns the game on. Thanks for the pistol. Anything I want to trade with you? I'd like the wire. I might as well tank my reputation with them. I mean, who cares? I don't want to take anything that won't stack. Well, actually, the wire won't stack, will it? Mm -mm. Eh. Oh, the rags will stack, actually. Got some here. And got some empty bottles, so... Take an empty bottle. I thought I had a flashlight on me. Uh, I guess I left it at home. Anyway, look at what they did.
Okay, before I do anything, some thoughts on the, the wolf. The wolf is obviously... Uh, I guess... <laughs> are they a heavily mutated human, or were they never human to begin with? Or are they a heavily mutated wolf? You know, I'm not quite sure. Guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, they... They seem like someone who's turned into a figurative monster in the sense that they've mutated, but they've also turned into a monster, like ethically, morally, they've turned into a monster. Mentally, they've turned into it, not just physically, but their, uh, their behavior matches the expectation based on how they look. And I guess they thought that I was kind of sort of playing along with them and sort of almost uh, not really exactly a, a brotherhood but they seem to see me as not exactly a human but sort of a monster myself because I guess I'm, I'm mutating perhaps with time or with all these shots that I'm taking so they kind of saw me as not an equal I mean they kind of insult me and refer to me as meat but definitely not quite a human not as terrible as those stupid humans that the wolf likes to laugh at. I mean, when I killed the sow, which I didn't do because the wolf wanted me to, but the wolf did want me to kill the sow, and the reason they wanted me to kill it is just because, what, the wolf hated the squealing and wanted to enjoy the lamentations of the villagers starving? Like, the wolf just wants the villagers to suffer. The wolf seems to just want to kill and eat and torture humans. And saw me as, I guess, kind of an in-between between a human and between a full a full monster or beast or whatever they consider themselves. Somewhere in between humans and them. So lower than them, but still worth talking to and dealing with. I guess I'm sort of similar to them and then I'm mutating and all that, but I haven't exactly, haven't exactly gone as far down the hole as them mentally. If I leave them alive... They're just going to eat more people. Stuff more people. I mean, they have stuffed humans all over the place. They're a serial killer. All right. Here we go. You hit like a woman, they say, as they're instantly flattened to a bloody pulp? You seem pretty dead to me. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Assault rifle! A simple wedding ring looks like a bad imitation. It's colorless and matte, and its surface is uneven and rough. Yeah, it doesn't look like the other wedding rings. Strange. I wonder what it means. Like, I feel like that must mean something, right? Maybe just that they were married at one point? But I wonder if we could figure out who they are based on this. If we knew some piece of information. Anyway, what are we going to dump in favor for the assault rifle? Actually, nothing. Got a space right there. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have given you over to the wolf. Guess I should have been the little musician. Although I wasn't comfortable with that either. Okay, before we head to the train car, let's see what's down here. Oh. Key. Ah, key to wolf's hideout. No room in inventory. I kind of don't want to drop anything. Scrap metal? Two scrap? The bottles I actually kind of need. I'll drop the scrap. So this is a shortcut? Yeah, it looks like it is. I never knew I could even walk on here. Okay, let's head to the train car. So I guess let's actually go out this way. Oh, 
What if I added a journal entry? No. Nope. No journal entry for killing the wolf. I'm really curious how the game would progress if you just either didn't do what the wolf told you to do or just maybe killed them outright on day one, first time you encountered them. Could you still complete the game? You probably could. How would it how would it work? I'm curious. This is the train wreck that was marked, right? It must be here. It's gotta be this place. Oh. Oh, here we go. Alright, what was the code? 5584. What? What are you doing here? Hi, Doctor. Let's take out that shotgun again. Hmm. Family? Don't come near me. Oh, they're not looking too good, are they? Holy crap. The doctor is lying against the train car's wall. His face is covered in sweat. An intense odor of alcohol hangs in the air. Do not come close, you rotten dog. I won't give you the key. Can't you understand? I saved your life. You'd rot away in that clearing if it wasn't for me. You owe me for fuck's sake. Are they counting on me not remembering what happened? Counting on me not remembering that they tortured me for information? The doctor moves closer to the wall, grotesquely kicking his legs against the floor. You think I don't know who you are, rat? I've managed to get a good look at you. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees, watch us from a distance, and then disappear. You have no idea how it is to live here. This place, these woods, Everything is fucked up here. I won't take it anymore, do you understand? I won't bear the look of those deformed, reeking bodies anymore, nor the cries of those wretched villagers. First they begged for help, now we need to hide from them. I'm just an ordinary doctor. How the fuck was I supposed to help them? How? The doctor goes silent. His face, now hugging the wall of the train car, looks truly pathetic. Can you hear it? It's the walls. They speak to me. My little girl is calling me. I know she's waiting for me. I must come back to her. She's so close. His voice breaks down. I want to go home. I can see panic in his eyes. Please, this key is my only chance. Help me escape this place. Help me or kill me. Right, they have the key but they don't know where the entrance is. I'm not showing them the way out of here. They don't deserve to leave. Please, no. The doctor grabs my leg. <laughs> I'm not making it easy. Push him away with your leg. They've just tortured people after people. Trying to find information, trying to study them. Some of them, maybe, were monsters, whatever that means. Whether there's anything human left in them, I don't know. But some of them, like myself, for example, definitely has a lot of human left in me. They had cages. The doctor had cages. The doctor had an icebox full of body parts. 
No. No. I'll dump a single mushroom. 21. Oh, right, that doesn't take up inventory space. I fucking killed him. Now we just need to grab the key from his foul corpse. Then I can get the hell out of here. <laughs> I doubt it's that simple. Even... Even if I got out of here, given how transformed I am, is the outside world really going to accept me, assuming the outside world is even normal and even exists at this point? Although I suspect it does, because of what the... of what uh, Pietrek said about seeing, like... Um, jets in the sky, like planes. Okay... We got a bit of time. I'm just thinking, like, I'm definitely not going to the underground entrance right now, and possibly not even tomorrow, because we are not done with the mysteries here. There's a couple big mysteries left, in my mind. One is what the hell is down below the church ruins, and the other is, where's the key for the mysterious box that is supposed to be somewhere in the southwest? Also, how the hell do I upgrade my workbench to the next level? I'd really like to do that. Thankfully, I have an axe, so I don't need to upgrade my workbench to make an axe. I've already got one. But I can't make those explosive barrels. Hmm. I'm also going to see how much I can upgrade my axe, too. Ooh. Can I chop down metal doors? Probably not. There's so many things, though, that just haven't I haven't explored yet. There's the church ruins and the key. There's also the wedding down here. I never found a way in there. There's creepy house. I didn't find a way in there. Hmm. Let's head back home. Yeah, let's head back home and regroup there. God, I can't even think when it's raining. It's so loud. Ooh. Ah, don't have any lockpicks. Can't make one. Oh, that's a dog. Oh, wow. It killed it in one hit. Damn. This axe is good. I'm gonna drink from the well. Oh, it's so much quieter. I'm going to turn the lights on just because it makes me feel better. I don't need any more reason than that. Okay, done some inventory management. I also had a medium color magazine in here, so I've actually got some more ammo for the assault rifle. Do I really need a pistol, a shotgun, and an assault rifle? <laughs> it seems kind of overkill. Um, anyway, let's repair the axe and see how we can upgrade it. So I can do two upgrades. So it looks like it's the same as, yeah, same as the shovel. So sharpen it, use this less stamina, and then make it stronger or make it super, super strong. I would need another axe blade for this, which I can get. I should probably wait for that. 
Once the trader comes back tomorrow, I can buy another axe blade. Yeah, I'll do that, because I can only... You know, I can either have better materials or sturdy blade. And if I get better materials, then I can't get sturdy blade. Especially since, of course, I'm going to sharpen it. Okay. So, we got a few hours. I, I'm not going to go down to the church with a couple hours till it's dark in the rain. Just to see if I can find something to do there. No, I'm going to wait it out. Okay, I'll be back when it's nighttime. Okay, I hear footsteps. And I'm going to try out the assault rifle. It says it fires in bursts. it didn't take a lot of effort to uh, break my bench there. Oh, there's a doggy. It's not coming in, though. If I could just... just build that. Right there. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. I saw another one behind it. Another one of something, I'm not sure what. Oh. Kill the banshee? I don't even know what just happened. Oh, oh. Yep, I killed the banshee. Oh, Christ, there's more. Oh, it's trying to bust its way out. Poor little baby. Oh, It's trying its best. I'm gonna leave it. I don't even know where they're coming in now. Oh. Yeah. 
just before I end it, I'm curious if the traitor is going to comment about anything that's happened. Oh, yeah, the man grabs my arm and pulls me closer. A strong smell of mushrooms assails my nostrils. The old sack covering his body slides down, revealing his chest, covered in horrid growths. It is fused with a porous helmet, pulsating to the rhythm of his breath. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Without loosening his grip, the man raises his left arm, bringing his forearm to my face. It's pale as paper and reads, Do not open the door. Let's stick together. Why do they not want me to open the door so bad? Before they said I'm like, I forgot their exact wording, but like I'm basically walking into the open maw of the forest, whatever I'm doing, like I'm just running headfirst into the forest and it's going to swallow me. Do they believe this door is going to swallow me? Wouldn't surprise me. Or do they think that they couldn't survive in the outside world? And they want me to stick with them. Because why, I mean, why couldn't they just come with me? Alright, well, I think I'll end it here. It's been a hell of an episode, huh? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm definitely not going to go to the underground entrance just yet. There's too many mysteries awaiting us. Key ones being the church and the key to open the mysterious box.